They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. It's extremely alarming. It's a memo. We're going to destroy these bastards and before they kill all of us. We soaked that thing and we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. Leaving the way clear for the Russian army. We've got to do something. According to some sources, we can't just stand the Russian by forces and let also us. seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, 
but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. It's all over. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corbin, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was
as a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they deck. encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting. But they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and... They... They slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. 
there was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response. Now that you know she's one of us, Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. 
I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Stay back or I'll shoot. 
Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus, there's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. They'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus.
You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. North. I'll join you later.
join the others. gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> it's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. <laughs> 